Um, hello, greetings from Cambridge and welcome to today's webinar on um, uh, why is marketing important in entrepreneurship and uh, I'm Shasha Lu and um, here is um, today's um, schedule. So uh, we're going to first uh, have a discussion about the importance of marketing entrepreneurship and then I will introduce and uh, give you a brief introduction about our entrepreneurial marketing module uh, uh, in the program. And finally, I hope we can have uh, a little more time uh, to uh, have a, a live discussion. Um, and if you have any questions regarding the program or regarding any specific topic uh, regarding uh, related to marketing, I'm happy to answer those, okay? So um, first of all, I would like to give you an introduction of myself. Um, uh, I joined Cambridge Judge Business School uh, in 2015. So it's been almost uh, five years now. And um, uh, I... I got two uh, bachelor's degrees in my undergraduate. I studied both marketing and computer science, which had led to my interest uh, later on when I studied a uh, PhD, um, applying uh, the knowledge I've learned uh, from computer science in marketing research to uh, study how we can uh, better improve the business practice with the marketing modeling tools. So in my research, I, I, I uh, mainly focus on the application of the machine learning and computer vision technology uh, techniques in marketing, and I'm specifically interested in uh, um, topics such as face analytics, visual, uh, visual product design, as well as digital advertising. And some of my research topic uh, is uh, related to visual-based artificial empathy, data mining, and um, visual data analytics. Okay, so uh, I'm happy to answer your questions also regarding my uh, research. Uh, um, but regarding the uh, teaching interests, I uh, teach digital marketing, strategic brand management, and the general marketing course uh, um, uh, at uh, both the um, master and, uh, uh, and the um, um, uh, undergraduate levels, and, uh, as well as the marketing modeling and uh, data analytics. Okay, so, and uh, we have another course instructor on the entrepreneurial marketing course, and uh, uh, which uh, which is my colleague Arme Kwaja, and uh, uh, his research interest is uh, include marketing uh, strategy, healthcare market innovation, market entry, and um, Professor Arme Kwaja has a background in economics, so. Um, so he uh, uh, has specific interest in uh, the house-related consumption decisions, the firm size dynamics and spillovers, uh, collaboration in new product development and cross-product spillovers from pharmaceutical uh, research and um, uh, development. Okay, so if you are interested in learning more about Professor Kwaja's uh, research interest, I'll um, suggest you go to the uh, uh, webpage on the uh, Cambridge Judge Business School and Kwaja uh, and to ask more about his research interests. So um, two of us will be teaching the entrepreneurial marketing course. And this webinar today is mainly um, to um, be a tester or uh, a preview for you to have a basic understanding of the role of marketing uh, in the entrepreneurship and uh, uh, why is marketing important and, and what you're going to uh, learn from the course, okay? So first of all, why is marketing important? So marketing is not only important in entrepreneurship, but also important for any type of business, okay? So I would like to first uh, uh, present to you two quotes from the father of modern management, that, uh, who is, um, uh, that is Peter Drucker. And I, I suppose most of you have heard of him. And Peter Drucker has uh, famously said that business has only two basic functions marketing and innovation. Everything else is a cost, okay? So although it's very compelling, but if you think about, think about it, there's no business without customers, right? And customers is at the center of marketing and should be at the center of any business. And Peter Drucker also has said that marketing is not only much broader than selling, which like selling in most people's minds is what uh, equals to marketing. Um, marketing is mo much more than that. It encompasses the entire business, 
and it's the whole business seen from the customer's point of view. Again, Peter Drucker has emphasized again on the importance of customers uh, in the business, and um, and uh, therefore the marketing role should also should permit all areas of the business, including the HR, including the product design and development, including uh, your customer service. Okay, so uh, marketing is much broader than just uh, doing the selling, just doing the promotion, just doing the advertising. Okay, so um, this is uh, the view from uh, Peter Drucker. But if you still have concerns on whether uh, you should take this course, or whether um, you whether uh, uh, whether marketing is going to help uh, with your startup business. I will give you three questions. Okay, I will I will give you sorry three scenarios where uh, you can uh, think of whether you have the ability or have the knowledge to answer these questions. Okay, so in the first scenario. Uh, you want to start a business in the area that you're interested in, okay? So it can be any area. And uh, how would you identify a business opportunity in the current market, okay? So I want you to think about it and think about your answer, okay? So this is scenario one. Um, how would you identify a business opportunity in the current market? And the second scenario is that you are starting your own business. I assume that's the case for a uh, majority of us. But how would you increase the awareness for your product and service so that the people want to buy it? So this is a very basic question, right? So do you have an answer for this one? Okay, following uh, the third scenario, there are many competitors in the market. How would you differentiate your product or service from others? Okay, again, this is a very common question. And it's, uh, so all three questions are very common questions that entrepreneurs um, often face uh, during, uh, uh, in, their, in their business. And all of these three questions are related to marketing. Okay, so if you don't know clearly in your in your mind that how would you, how should you answer these questions, then I suggest you, uh, 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 I suggest you take a look at uh, the course and uh, uh, also continue uh, on this uh, on today's uh, webinar. And I'll also we uh, I have a video from another very successful entrepreneur and also very successful uh, venture capitalist, uh, Herman Hauser. Okay, so I assume most of you have heard of him. He is, uh, has been very successful in uh, founding and building uh, many successful business, including Accor and Arms. And in an interview um, Herman Hauser has given to uh, at Cambridge Judge Business School, he emphasized on the importance of marketing for, um, for the startup company, especially the technology startup companies. Because in many times, uh, we, we start a business with a specific idea or with a specific uh, product or service in our hands. But, uh, in, uh, but so in reality, most of people, most of the entrepreneurs, they focus on the product or the service rather than the customers. Okay, so in this interview, um, um, Herman Hauser has uh, mentioned and has talked about his experience regarding, um, regarding the role of marketing uh, in the startup company, especially the technological uh, startup companies. Okay, let's hear it. Marketing is very important, especially with deep technology companies that uh, I'm involved in all the time, because it's very easy to get carried away by the excellence of the technology and forgetting about uh, uh, the market. Uh, and the, the critical thing that one needs to get right in the startup is to have enough understanding of who would buy the clever new thing that you've come up with and not just the technology. If you've got somebody uh, who has got a, a deep understanding of the market, uh, that's a uh, godsend, that, that is a, an ideal situation. However, many of the uh, very disruptive technologies that I get involved in address markets that might not exist yet. So you really have to have the right vision to think about uh, who might want this and who the customers might be. And then early on, when you've got 
early prototypes or an early idea of a, a more precise idea of what you could actually produce, go and talk to these people very early on, get the feedback, understand what they want, what they don't like, uh, and then shape the, uh, the product according to that feedback. Okay. So in this video, Herman Hauser talked about uh, a particular uh, situation where, uh, sorry, two particular situations where the startup companies, they have a product or service to start uh, and, uh, and then they need to go out and look for the customers who are waiting to buy that product or service. And in another situation where the product or service is very disruptive and the market is not ready yet, they need to educate the market so that the customers will, uh, will have a, a higher level of awareness of the product or service and uh, will be more accept, uh, acceptable of the product or service. In both situations, um, so marketing has um, played a very important role uh, in in uh, in the startup um, um, uh, in the startup business. Okay, so let's look at a particular example of why this uh, traditional idea of starting from the product rather than starting from the customer may feel, uh, especially in the entrepreneurial uh, situation. Okay, so this is the mindset of most of the. Um, uh, most of the uh, uh, startup companies, okay? So we make a good product, right? And because that we make a good product, the customers will naturally will buy it. So this is a very dangerous mindset, which may lead to many uh, problems. The first problem may be that, the, maybe that uh, the criteria that used by your engineers or by your product designers uh, may be different from the criteria used by the customers, right? So the, 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 the definition of a good product should be seen from the customer perspective, but not from your, uh, your, uh, your perspective. And the second um, problem it may lead to is that by focusing solely on the product itself, ignores the market, ignores the, uh, the competition. And it's, it, uh, it's, it's very likely that there are some, uh, um, there are some uh, good alternatives in the market that you haven't noticed yet, okay? And there might be some other solutions or some other alternatives that customers has, can use to solve their problems instead of using uh, your product or service. And the third problem this may have led to is that with this kind of mindset, you uh, price the product based on the cost, not based on the value it generates, it creates uh, for the customers, okay? So um, the price is not, is not value-based and which may lead to a, a field uh, um, uh, a field pricing uh, strategy. Okay, so let me give you a more specific example from the real life. Okay, so what is this? It's a segue, right? So uh, most of us have seen it, but rarely we see this on the street. Okay, so the segue as a product or as a technology, it was it used to be recognized as a very successful technology. Okay, it's a very good product as itself. But the reason why we don't see it a lot in on the street is because it's, uh, it's, um, it has seen a big, um, it has been a big fear as a business. Okay, because it, it ignored the customer's need uh, when they launched the product. So originally, the um, the brand that sells uh, that's um, the brand that sold uh, Segway, uh, they expected expected it they can sell about a million units per year, but um, during the six years, it they are only be able to uh, they will only be able to sell it sell about uh, tens of thousands of the of the Segway uh, of the uh, of the units. Okay, so. Uh, there are many reasons to its failure, but one of the main reasons of the failure of the Segway is because it, it uh, comes from the comes from the product or the firm's point of view, but not from the customer's point of view. It didn't evaluate the customer's uh, the customer's preference, evaluate the customer's needs, 
when they launched the product. Okay, so this is uh, one uh, example of why the product orientation uh, fails. Okay, and um, another successful example, positive example, um, is the absolute vodka. Okay, so in 19, um, 1979, when the Absolute Vodka brand uh, entered the U.S. market, they faced a fierce competition. There are many vodka brands already exist in the U.S. market. And instead of position, positioning itself, uh, uh, instead of positioning itself from the point of view, like a traditional point of view of the taste or the, uh, or the origin, the country of origin, the absolute vodka brand uh, took a very different way of positioning its brand. Uh, and it focused, it, it focused on the lifestyle, focused on the design, the art, the fashion, uh, and the trend. Okay, so uh, now that's, now we can see that the absolute vodka brand is one of the top vodka brand uh, uh, worldwide. And uh, also its sales is the number one uh, in the US market, okay? So, and this is a positive example of how you can, uh, how you can improve uh, this, the, the success rate of your startup business if you, uh, if you use the tools of, if you use the, the, the tools of marketing in the right way. Okay, and um, these are the two examples of how startup business can leverage the marketing tools uh, to um, to improve uh, to improve their business practice and to increase their uh, their uh, their awareness and to improve their brand. Okay, so uh, now th these are the questions that we are trying to answer in the entrepreneurial marketing uh, in the entrepreneurial marketing module. Okay, so during the module. Uh, we hope, uh, uh, so sorry, this, this module is targeting at three key groups of audience. The first group is entrepreneurs, okay? The second is the senior managers in startup companies. And finally, uh, the marketing professionals in startup companies, okay? So this is a marketing module custom for the startup business. And we will be discussing uh, a lot of the marketing issues that is faced by many, uh, uh, many startup companies. And the structure is a combination of the residential face-to-face -face sessions and the online academic lectures, as well as the webinars. And during this um, course, we hope to answer uh, the questions, uh, the questions involved uh, developing effective marketing strategies and customer acquisition and retention, as well as branding and positioning in the competitive market. Okay, so if you are struggling with marketing problems related to these areas, I think it's, it's probably good if you can take this module, okay? So what you can, what you can get out of this module is that you can develop a basic understanding of the marketing and its key elements and learn how to develop a marketing strategy for your business and how you can evaluate a marketing strategy uh, and how you can improve and optimize its effectiveness. Okay, and we will also be talking about the marketing tools that you can use uh, to achieve various business objectives. Okay, so these business objectives may include uh, uh, increase the, the, the brand or, or product awareness, uh, also may include uh, influencing the customer's consideration, and also uh, grow the customer's loyalty and, uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, sorry, grow the customer's loyalty uh, and retain, retain the customers, okay? So finally, um, this course will help you to adapt, sorry, this course will help you to adapt, adapt to your marketing strategies in, in various business contexts, especially in the uh, in the digital area where the business landscape and the customer's behavior is undertaking a lot of uh, changes, a lot of shifts. So this course will give you 
um, uh, the useful digital marketing tools to help you to achieve various uh, business objectives in the current business uh, climate. Okay, so uh, and this is the main structure of the course. So we will start uh, during the residential week talking about the changing phase of the marketing and the customer journey, and then. Uh, moving online, we'll be talking about um, uh, talking about six key topics in the practice of the entrepreneurial um, business, including um, introducing the value framework, introducing the, the framework that we use to analyze uh, to analyze and develop in fact active marketing strategy and we'll be talking about the uh, talking about why the importance of customers and the, the importance of being customer centric uh, for a set of business and following that we'll be talking about the positioning and branding strategy how do you position your product or service how do you uh, build uh, your brand equity uh, um, and uh, have it stand out among the competitions. And following that, we'll be talking about the tools and uh, frameworks we can use to acquire, uh, acquire customers more effectively uh, in the current digital landscape, okay? And also we'll be talking about how we can retain, how we can manage our relationship with the customers, how, we, how should we evaluate the customer lifetime value and grow the customer loyalty. Okay, finally, we will be talking about how you're going to integrate various marketing activities and bring them all together in a cohe uh, co cohesive and integrated way so that you can present uh, a consistent image to your customers. So, okay, so we will be talking about the integrated marketing strategy um, also. So, and as we can see, all of these modules, all of these units are organized based on um, based on its focus on the customers, its focus on the various business objectives, and also considering the factors of the technology and the emerging analytical analytical tools. Uh, so you will be learning about both strategic and technical skills uh, uh, when it uh, related to the uh, improve. It related to improving your marketing uh, effectiveness, okay? So this is uh, the general journey that you will be taking um, uh, in during the course. So as I said earlier, this will be the first session, um, face-to-face -face, face -face session during the residential week. And then we'll be talking, we will be talking about the marketing fundamentals in unit one and two. And we'll be talking about customer acquisition and retention in unit three, four, and five. And finally, we will bring everything together and talk about how you're going to integrate various marketing uh, activities, various marketing uh, um, tools uh, together uh, to build an integrated marketing strategy, okay? So finally, before, we, uh, before I end uh, the presentation, I would like to uh, emphasize on the learning outcome. So this course is really meant for, uh, to give you a, a um, comprehensive um, picture of, of the marketing and to give you the fundamental principles of marketing for your emerging business and give you a better understanding of the forces changing the business environment and the customer behavior and give you the tools to analyze the environment and the customer behavior, okay? So um, after the course, um, the students should be able to design, build an operational customer strategy for various business objectives, okay? So several key questions that will be covered during the course include how you're going to choose the right group of customers, and this is related to segmentation and the targeting, and also how you're going to position your brand, product, or service against the competitors. Okay, so this is related to the brand uh, and positioning, and how you're going to leverage the marketing tools in customer acquisition and retention. Okay, and finally, how should you integrate your marketing activities more effectively? Okay, bring various roles in your organization together to. Um, to deliver the marketing uh, objectives. Okay, so this is um, the main 
uh, this is uh, the main um, part where I would like to uh, introduce about the course. So now I would like to answer your question, any questions you may have regarding the course, regarding um, the, the marketing as a general topic. So if you have any questions, please type uh, in, the, uh, in the text box so I can see that and uh, um, everyone else can also see that. Okay, any questions? I'm going to wait for two more minutes, just in case um, anyone is still typing. Okay, so the fee, the course fee, um, I will defer that question to our program office. Okay, so um, let me see. Laura, will you, will you be able to answer that question? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Um, yes, for the fee, I would uh, ask you if you can send your queries uh, at uh, our email address uh, for the Masters in Entrepreneurship which is uh, mstentrepreneurship at uh, jbs.com.ac.uk. I'm going to write it down also on, um, on the chart so you can get in contact with uh, our admission team, okay? Okay, thank you, Laura. No worries. So we see more uh, questions coming up. So question from Joyce Williamson um, is, I'm starting a consultancy. How would this program help me? So, um, by consultancy, I assume it's a um, business consultancy, or or is it, is it a consultancy regarding a particular um, uh, area or industry? So, in any case, um, the consultancy business is similar as uh, any other um, type of business. So. We it's um uh, except it's um uh, it's more like a B two B type of business rather than B two C type of business, but the concept or the or the frameworks uh, still apply here. So you analyze the customer's needs and analyze their preference first, and uh, you still need to choose your market. Still need to um um uh, differentiate yourself from the com competitors. You still need to build up your brand. You need to think about how you are going to acquire customers and retain uh, retain customers and grow customer loyalty so I guess from that from these perspectives these course will still um, be able to help you to in terms of uh, uh, building the um, building the awareness acquire the customers and and uh, build the uh, competitive advantage build your own uh, brand so uh, I think uh, this program, like I said earlier, uh, apply is a general program. It doesn't um, it's, it doesn't uh, uh, focus on any particular industry or area. So um, these frameworks or the tools that we will discuss during the course applies to any type of business. Okay. Um, so the, I'm going to move on to the next question. So could you maybe list some examples of? Role? what type of data analytical tools will be discussed in the course, for example, in consumer uh, retention? Okay, very good question. So we will be talking about the customer value and uh, how we're going to evaluate the customer lifetime value. And uh, also we'll be talking about uh, the digital marketing tools, including uh, how we're going to analyze the customer's journey and how we're going to use analytical tools to analyze customers' behavior um, uh, and uh, uh, under, under, understand the decision-making process and use that to evaluate and optimize the marketing. Okay. 
Uh, and in addition, during the uh, during the uh, second and the third unit, we'll be talking about the segmentation and positioning tools. Uh, so there are various uh, tools that we can use to understand the market and to choose the right set, as well as uh, how to differentiate ourselves from differentiate ourselves from the competitors uh, more uh, more effectively. And uh, yeah, it will be impossible. Uh, it will be. <laughs> I will be uh, listing my email contact uh, here. Okay, so if you are interested uh, in learning more about the program, or if you are interested uh, in uh, any particular marketing topics, um, uh, feel free to drop me an email. Okay. Uh, yes, this is an elective module in the MSc program, and. Um, uh, there will be a branding element in the course, like in the earlier. Let me bring this up. Uh, yeah, so there will be a branding element. Yes. So we'll be talking about positioning and the branding strategy too. So um, there, there will be discussion on how to build uh, a brand, to build the, the awareness of the brand uh, during the uh, one next door. Great. Okay. So, uh, like I said earlier, um, this is just a, a preview uh, of the course. And uh, if you would like to uh, learn more about uh, the details, um, go to our website and look, take a look at uh, the the uh, the course um, um, uh, details. And also, feel free to email me. And uh, if you have any questions regarding the uh, the marketing, uh, regarding the uh, the marketing topics, um, feel free to email me or my colleague, uh, Professor Armet Kwaja, and we'll be happy to answer uh, your questions. Okay. And again, uh, thank you all for attending today's webinar. And uh, I hope I have given you uh, um, a, a, a general introduction of, uh, of the course and uh, the importance of marketing uh, in the entrepreneurial business. Thank you.